Hello and welcome to this session everyone. My name is Yogesh. In this quick session, we are going to talk about how to copy AMI across AWS regions. We all know an Amazon machine image provides the information required to launch an instance in the cloud. AMI contains root volume for the instance, which is basically snapshot with operating system or application or GB installed and uh, some set of permissions. Question comes into mind, why to copy AMI across different regions? What is the benefit we are going to get uh, by following this particular exercise or activity? AWS infrastructure is spread across different geographical zones. In Amazon terms, we call them regions. Copying an AMI across regions can provide the following benefits. First benefit is high availability as your infrastructure and application will be deployed across AWS regions, different AWS regions. What it means, let's say uh, you are running your applications in India or uh, Mumbai region and uh, you are running your applications in Tokyo, which means uh, you got uh, high availability. If one region, whole region gets down, generally that never happens, but let's consider still your applications will be running in Tokyo. Performance. Uh, let's suppose you are a global business. You're a global business company. Using services in the closest or appropriate region will reduce the latency or uh, that will give a better performance and your customer or your end user will be happy. Cost saving. In Amazon, if you see the pricing page, uh, different regions have different price for uh, same services let's say uh, if your application is in sydney and other application is new us so price difference you can run your application in the cheapest region that's up to you so that is going to be cost saving for your company so these are the things uh, for which we can keep AMI copied in different regions and uh, accordingly we can spin up uh, the services when required. Next thing, what steps we need to follow to copy an AMI across regions? Using CLI, that's very easy. AWS space EC2 space copy dash image, then source image ID. You can put your source AMI ID, then source region. Let's say you are in uh, Sydney, so that will be AP Southeast 2 and your destination region where you want to copy that AMI and the description of that AMI. That's it. Run this command, it will copy the image. If you're using Amazon Management Console, that's again, that's easy. Log into console, then select the source region, then go to images or AMI, then go to action, then copy AMI and it will ask uh, you some information like what is going to be your destination region, what is going to be description of the target AMI. AMI will be same. Only thing in description you can put something. Let's say in your Sydney AMI you have put okay this is Sydney AMI and uh, that is Tokyo AMI or US AMI whatever appropriate information. Once you click OK after that it will start the AMI copy process and you can monitor that progress. Uh, on your dashboard when it is done on uh, your target site let's say our target is us north virginia in that particular region in ami tab you can see ami is copied i will give you a demo a quick demo of this one uh, one thing please be aware when we copy the ami across regions we will get charged for cost of the data transfer across regions that's the first thing after that, we will be getting charged for EBS and S3 usage on the destination region because we are going to use uh, EBS space and S3 basically if we take uh, or create any snapshot. So let's begin the exercise where I can give you a quick demo about uh, how you can copy an AMI across different regions. So guys, uh, you can see on my screen that I'm in Sydney region here. In Sydney region, I got this particular AMI, this particular AMI ID. I'm just copying this ID. Here is the ID. Uh, 
Okay, I've copied and let me show you the target region. Let's pick this North Virginia one. I've selected North Virginia. You can see in North Virginia now, there is no AMI at present, which is my uh, private AMI. There is nothing. So our activity is to copy the AMI from Sydney to North Virginia. So I'm going back to Sydney region. If you want to do that activity using the management console, that's very easy. Click on actions and copy AMI. This is the AMI, this is description. You can put uh, any description or this is the default description which uh, we got. Here in destination region, you can select the destination region. Let's say North Virginia and click on copy AMI. It will start the copy process. Uh, but I want to do this activity using command line. So let me open putty session quickly. So we already got our AMI ID and here so in my CLI server, I'm going to run this command, which is AWS EC2, copy image, source image ID is this one, which is my source image in Sydney. Then source region, AP Southeast dash two, that is basically Sydney. Then this is target region dash dash region, which is US East one, which is North Virginia. Then uh, dash dash name here, uh, whatever, whatever name you want to put. And here press enter. It should start the AMI copy process. Here, I made some mistake. So let me quickly see what mistake I have made. Command is incomplete, source image ID. Yeah, that's good. Source region is this one, that's good. Dash dash name, copied from Sydney. Everything looks good. Then why is complaining? Let's retry this command quickly. Yeah, it looks good. So let me change the codes yeah looks good the codes uh, were not correct so let's wait for this command to give some information you can see the target image id is this one so this image will get created in north virginia so let's uh, quickly go to the target region which was north virginia and see whether ami got created or not i selected the target region you can see this is the image id and stated is pending uh, because data will be getting copied from uh, sydney to north virginia it may take some time but you can see here yeah, that particular image uh, is uh, in the process of creation so that looks good let's wait for a couple of minutes because data size is 10 gb i believe it will get copied quickly so guys you can see on my screen that ami got uh, copied to north virginia and status is available so that's good it means uh, now we can use that ami in north virginia to build uh, ec2 instances and if you see the ami name that's ami name which we give copied from sydney and uh, this is the source account, which is basically my account in Sydney and the uh, owner account here, that same. You can see source is this one, 813 and uh, owner, because my account is same. That's the reason it is showing same owner. So everything good. So that's very easy to copy AMI as you have uh, seen in this video. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any query, any suggestion, just leave a comment on my YouTube channel. And uh, one thing which I forgot to tell you, which is not documented here in my uh, PPT or presentation, basically that AMI, if you see visibility is private, which means uh, only you as uh, owner can see that AMI. If you want to make that AMI public, publicly available, means anyone can use that AMI, you can change the status of uh, AMI visibility basically how you can do that select that ami which is already selected here you can see then click on action then modify image permission if you know aws account number of someone to whom you want to give access you can put the account number otherwise uh, right now it's private if you want to make it public 
means everyone can use it you can click on public and click on save now visibility should be updated let's refresh visibility is public now means anyone can use so that was the way to make your ami public i will keep it private because i don't want to make it public because that's my customization the software vendors like veritas uh, netapp and other vendors they make the ami public or they give you access using your owner id so that's easy i'm making it private again so that's it in this video guys if you have any query any suggestion just leave a comment on my youtube channel thank you